from the mailman to the dry cleaner to the men and women who take care of your garbage. You interact, interact with a lot of people in your daily life. So with the holidays here, who do you give a little something extra to? And who is it okay to skip? I have difficulty with mm. skipping. Colleen Rickenbacker, author of the On Your Best Cultural Behavior, is here to help us out. Because you feel guilty. Yes, you do. And then you feel like, I don't know, is... Is, should tipping be guilt-ridden? Tell me about that. No, and what you need to consider, there's some major factors before you go into it. Basically, how often do you use that person? Is it someone that comes to your house on a weekly basis? Maybe it's a housekeeper yes. or a nanny. Yes. Or is it a teacher for your child in school? Or is it your garbage collector, your mail person? So there's a lot of things. The second factor is what's your budget? You know, how much can you actually give this person? Are you gonna give it to them in monetary? Or are you gonna bake something for them? Or you know, arts and crafts or whatever it may be. And then the third thing you need to consider is what their service is to you. How well do they service you? So after you kind of give all that, don't give a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, but after you give all that thought to them, the one you give them, say it is a nanny. The actual protocol is that you give them whatever their service that they give you for that week or that month is what you're supposed to give them as, as a, a bonus. As a bonus. And I consider when somebody works for you weekly or daily, yes. that's an employee and you give them a week's salary or right. something like exactly that. Exactly right. And now, let's be realistic here. Most people out there don't have that kind of money. No, they they don't. don't have nannies. No. Most people don't no. have. But they do have mailmen. Right. And they, and they don't have a lot of money to spend. Uh, so what is an appropriate thing? If, let's say a mailman, because they are a government employee. There is, a, there is actually a law. It's a 2050 law, meaning you can, you're not supposed to give more than $20 at one time to a government employee or equivalent of $20. So you can maybe make them something or something that's equivalent to $20. You can give them the $10. Now, if you have a different mail person that comes like every mm -hmm. week, then you don't have that's some place where you don't have to give them anything because they're different people every single yes. week or on you know how they come but your trash collectors maybe it's the same two people that where come you, all the time where do you put your trash i, mean, I, what, you, you I have ways do you to put do that in red bow on the garbage sack uh, pretty much what you can do <laughs> you have a couple ways if you don't work if you are a stay at home and they don't come at five o'clock in the morning just leave a little note on the top of your trash can and say, please come and knock at the door. If you have a neighbor that stay at home, just leave like an arrow and say, please visit there. Or, you know, please tell me when you're coming or just leave notes on top. That's what I usually do. If I know I'm going to be home that day, because you know when they're going to come, I leave a note and say, please knock on my door. They will knock on your door. They will come to your door to get this. Or you can ask them actually to leave an address and then you can mail it to them. So there's different ways. Same way with your newspaper person. Generally, this week or even last week, in your paper, you will find an envelope with a Christmas card to you or a holiday really? card. Oh, yeah. And they will have their address, their return address on there. Because every day, they're dropping off their paper what to about, you. Have, what about hotel rooms, motel rooms? I always try to leave something there because they've made my... Yes. They've helped me have a better trip. Exactly. So I tried to leave something... This you is know. the trick on that. For your housekeeper, leave like $2. $2 is all you have to leave, but leave it every morning. The reason why you leave a tip every morning, leave it on your bed. And you don't have to write a note, you don't have to do it. Say a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. If you're if you're like two people in the room, then double that. Because they're giving you clean towels, they're making your bed. But the trick is leave it every morning, not at the end of your stay. Because a housekeeper will change. They'll shift. Oh, that's right. Because if all of a sudden you've been there four or five days and you're gonna leave ten dollars at the end of it. The housekeeper that comes in that, that comes morning, that, in. that could be the first day they're there and oh. they just took away $10 every single day. Oh, I wish we had, we had, we need to have more time with you. <laughs> Are you on the road right now? Uh, not until January. Okay, maybe you could come back and we we'll talk about restaurants it. and, and other important. things that we could do, little things that yes. we can do. Because even your dry cleaner. Subside yes. our, our guilt. Yeah. You can get more great tips from Colleen by checking out her website. Get there by going to thebroadcasttv.com. When we come back, Metro Mom Barb talks stocking stuffers. Stick around. This woman is loaded with ideas. <laughs> 